Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In this episode, we're going to be finishing up the completion of the map. Here, I'll show you a second. So we're going to go all the way south here and then get these two squares. And then along the way, I'll get some pickups that I know. Uh, I wasn't sure if I got 4-Eye Reef yet or not. It's been a little bit, so I'm going to take a look. Yeah, that chest is already open and spawned, so uh, we're going to just start traveling south here. So I got some good news to start this episode with. I managed to get game audio going through some head, like a headset, so I can actually hear the game now. This is the first time in like Luke's recording history that he's been able to hear game audio while recording. I've been doing this Let's Play stuff a while, like especially on the old channel and stuff. Like this is completely new to me to hear and be immersed in the game audio. This is amazing. So now I can hear every little sound of Wind Waker, and I hope I'm not talking louder in turn, because I'm wearing a headset, so I can't really hear anything but the sounds of Wind Waker. Like those seagulls, I can hear them and it's amazing. Oh, a fairy island, by the way. I'm really hoping this gives us that extended magic I've been talking about for a while. Let's see. It's also worth mentioning that I increased my recording quality up a decent amount, so the video might look a little better than it has, but I hope that my computer can handle it. I ran a test recording of like five minutes long and everything seemed to go good. Yeah, he's talking about joy pendants, I guess, whatever. We already finished all that. So yeah, hopefully the video looks at least a little better. We shall see, but in the meantime, let's just play some Wind Waker. I'm really feeling like playing some Wind Waker, too. Just finished up my week of work. It's Friday night. Let's see, April 11, I think. I can't really see my computer from here, but looks like we need the skull hammer. So yeah, I am just ready to go. I am really feeling the Wind Waker right now. And next week is... The last week of the semester, you know, everything is from home, obviously. But what's exciting for Luke is that it's the last college semester he will probably ever have, unless I end up going to graduate school, but I'm undecided in that department, so at least my undergrad will be done, so hip hip hooray to that. I'm so ready for that to be done. Let's see what she gives us. Maybe it's a bachelor degree, a bachelor of science degree, hopefully. <laughs> Here you go, Link. Have a bachelor of science degree. It's a quiver. Okay. 99 arrows. I remember I was talking about that a few episodes ago. Man, where is that extended magic bar? Uh, do we need a fairy? No, we're good. I really do not remember where you get that magic upgrade, man. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. Alright, so let's just keep going south here. So, like, the one last thing I want to get... Uh, let's check out the outpost, too, real quick. So, the last thing I want to get for recording equipment is a pop filter. I definitely need one. I'm recording with a naked uh, blue snowball. Uh, I think it's the Snowball Ice series. And it's a great microphone, don't get me wrong. I love it. But it definitely could use a pop filter, and I used to have one, and I used to have a, like a boom arm for it too. We used it for 3D world recordings, and I have no idea where that stuff went. I looked all over. I have a feeling that I let Phil use it because he was getting into the like the streaming stuff for a while, and he asked if he could use that stuff since I wasn't really using it anymore. Because as everyone knows watching this channel, uh, Luke is very inconsistent with. Recording videos, he either does it and then he takes, you know, like a long hiatus from it. Uh, I think actually, like the series of Borderlands 2 and Wind Waker, this is the longest Luke has like recorded, at least on the Koopa Troop channel, like without stopping. So hopefully that's a good sign for things to come. But uh, we already got a chest. Should I? Yeah, I'll take out the cannons just in case. I you never really know with this game, so. So yeah, uh, I really do want to get another pop filter. Maybe I can grab it from Phil or just buy a new one. They're pretty cheap. But with everything that's going on right now with the virus and stuff, uh, shipping is like really messed up, at least on Amazon. Uh, like it said, I wouldn't get it till like May 5th or something. So that's quite a ways away. 
little less than a month. Yeah, I just feel like a pop filter would really help me because I'm not exactly the greatest at speaking. I slur my words a lot and I don't pronounce my S's very good, as you could probably tell in the recordings. Like, they really stand out. But I feel like recording definitely has gotten me better at, like, public speaking at least. Because I used to be a lot worse at, at talking and making sentences flow, like, coherently, but... I'd like to think I'm decent at it, it's just, like, I have a tendency to, like, slur my words and mispronounce things, and I just try my best to ignore it, because it is kind of annoying, and... Oh, we got a treasure chart here to salvage. Let's see if we can... Boom. I don't know if I've ever used that trick or not, to use the Wind Waker to come to a complete stop. I'm sure I have. Nope, get the cannon out, or not the cannon, the grappling hook. There we go. I can finally hear where the sound is loudest now, which is so nice. Like, I really feel like I was missing out on so much during this Let's Play, because I was playing with barely any sound. Like, I have, I had my TV volume set at, like, 4. <laughs> like, seriously, I could barely hear the game, because I was so scared of the game audio trickling through my commentary audio and making that annoying, like, duplication. So I tried to avoid that as much as I could, and now I don't have to worry about it. I have my TV muted, the sound is just running through a pretty nice headset, so... God, I am loving this right now. This makes playing this game, like, so much more enjoyable. Like, it already was enjoyable, but... It's like, it makes a world of difference, man. Like, these games are... At least, like, the audio are just... It's just so phenomenal. Especially Wind Waker, like... The sounds of this game, it, like, makes up half of it. Like, more than half, I'd say. I feel like it's probably the most, like, aesthetically pleasing Zelda game. Well, maybe besides Breath of the Wild, but... Alright, I wasn't even paying attention. What reef was this? Oh, I didn't get the chart fish yet. I gotta remember to do that. Uh, let's change the wind here. I actually remembered the song this time, which is awesome. So yeah, hopefully with this consistency we've been having on this channel, hopefully we can start to bring in some traffic. It's always nice. Like, uh, Jeff, Jared, and I are really enjoying Borderlands. It's actually, you know, I would consider it a favorite... At, among me and Jeff, at least, like, we love that game, and we're having a blast recording that, like, we've having, we're having long recording sessions, we're really, like, caught up on videos, we have a lot of space, uh, so it's just really nice to have, like, a big backlog of videos to upload, and editing is going pretty nice, I actually, like, kind of enjoy video editing, it's, it's actually kind of fun, it, it, you have a, it's a nice feeling to have a nice video completed and have everything look great and be satisfied with it. But it's probably pretty similar to other types of work that people do, you know? Alright, I'm going to grab this chart fish. I, I like to edit these out. I don't know if I should be doing less editing as I should in this game. But I guess that's just how I like to do things. Like, I end up cutting out a lot of sailing. And I really do enjoy the sailing in this game. Like, I know that's a big problem among a lot of people, but... I really, really do enjoy the sailing. Even if you're not doing anything, just like the sounds and... Can't go wrong with the Great Sea Song either. Alright. Let's continue south here, and I'll get out some more bait while we're sailing. Which we're kind of running low on bait. Yeah, we're going to need to buy it one more bait, and then we'll have everything charted. What's that orange thing over there? Is that the uh, f Fire Mountain? It's got to be, right? Like, part of me wants to go... No, Fire Mountain's on the other side of... What is that? Should we go look? Oh, it cleared up. I still can't tell what that is. Uh... 
Hang on a second. What is this island? Island of Steel? Uh, I know you get like a Triforce chart or chunk or whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a part of... Oh, well, there goes that. Dude, it's right there. Just grab the bait, man. I can't throw any more. Wait. Oh, okay. I'll show you guys... Wait, what is happening? I am thoroughly confused. Uh, This is where I am right now. Shouldn't he be going for that bait? This is not the Islet of Steel. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Am I tripping on something? There we go! <laughs> I have no idea what was happening there. Jeez. I guess he was picky about the bait he got. <laughs> well, now we definitely definitely need to buy more, because now we're out. Needle rock. I do know we need a hoi pair for this island. Yes, I know. Uh, okay, well, we do have something that can help us out in the department. No, nope, go to Beetle's chart. Uh, okay. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm going to go to that beetle right next to us and before I do this island, because I... I'm like 80% sure we need a hoi pair. So I will be right back. I cannot believe he jipped me out of three bait. Are you kidding me? I'm wondering if I should just go up to silver membership. I only need to buy three more. I don't know, I can just buy the rest in hoi pairs, I guess. Just to get up to silver. I don't know, maybe we should buy one more bait just in case the fish gyps us again. Oh, you don't need any more. Alright, well, give me bombs then, I guess. Kind of a waste of rupees, but... Sorry if you hear me vigorously mashing this button. Alright, now we have to try to get gold. I forget what that gets you, honestly. Oh, that morning sound is so wonderful. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love I can hear it. Oh, man. Okay, I'm back. I was just really enjoying that. Oh, and then the Great Sea kicks in with that power. Oh, and now it's gone. Now I hear the... <laughs> Lovely. Man, right when the Great Sea kicks in with all that power that song comes in with. Man, I love that so much. Man, that was a pain in the neck, though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay, before I go in there, I'm going to look around because I don't quite remember this. And wow, the waves are, are like the tide is going nuts right now. Yeah, you get out of here. You're going to give me trouble later if I don't take care of you now. Here, let's take out the... I don't use the boomerang far enough in this game. It's like overpowered in Wind Waker and I never use it. All right, fine. Don't come back. What's over here? Oh, there's a... Withered Deku tree over here. Alright, uh, so I have a feeling that's what we need to use the seagull for. I bought... <laughs> I bought six hoi pears. What is wrong with me? Well, watch me mess up like four times so it's actually worth it. I hear him. Don't mind me. Just a seagull coming through. Are you joking? He came in and swooped, like, off the camera. Well, maybe it is a good thing I bought extra. Maybe I should, like, seriously try to shoot them or something, because... I hate this camera right now. There we go. That's a decent angle of what I'm working with right now. Oh, he's just sitting there waiting for me to come up. He's guarding that switch with his life. Alright, let's... Get in there. Nice. I like how we pretty much just leave the seagull for dead <laughs> after we're done with him. Alright, piece of heart. Lovely, lovely. 
Let's go in that hole. I'm honestly not sure what that what that yields. Oh, I know this place. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot of magic you're giving us. What does this say? Light the six torches. Uh, I really hope we don't need the one item we don't have yet. I guess we'll find out though. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure you have to find the six torches like in this area. I cannot see without... there we go. That's two. Good thing I didn't destroy all those pots. Third one's right there. Four is way over there. Nice. Did I get it? I think so, yeah. Uh, there's probably one like, yeah, right there. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Am I annoying you? Is it, did you hear that thwack? It sounded like I hit something that, like, was an enemy. I forgot how awesome or how satisfying that thwack is. I know the boomerang does it. Oh, it, <laughs> I love that thwack sound. Uh, this is probably probably pretty worthless. Uh, no, I'll definitely take that. Let's refill our magic before we go. Our little teeny half bar of magic, which I keep bringing up every single time I see it. Alright, King of Red Lions, where are you? Oh, over there, okay. It's like there's a valet or something that moves them every time I come out of a loading zone. Alright, continuing south. Here we go. I could have done the Spectacle Isle minigame starting the episode because I was up by it, but I don't, didn't remember if I already did it or not, so I just didn't chance it and just left it. I'm pretty sure we haven't done it yet. Oh wait, didn't I? I think I remember saying like I actually like this mini game, even though it's easy. I think I did do it. It's been like three or four days since I last recorded, so I don't really remember what I've done, except like explore the right side of the map. So you have to bear with me a little bit. Another piece of heart, which completes another container. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we cannot do this yet. It's like I'm keeping it a secret what item we're missing. Uh, we can still get the fish. You're gonna take my bait this time, you jack wagon? Oh yeah, you took it right away that time. Diamond step. Diamond step A. Okay, one more square south. Man, I am in a good mood today. I'm just. Oh, here comes the storm out of nowhere. I do like that, though. Storms are like. One of my favorite things about, like, living on this planet, I'm not even joking, is a nice thunderstorm. I love that shit so much. Like, sleeping to it, oh my god, that's on another level. Just rain in general. Like, sometimes I'll even, like, fall asleep to, like, thunderstorm uh, sounds in the background. Love storms so much. I've always had a thing for games who, like, well, this this kind of affected me more when I was little, because you didn't see this as much, but games that had, like, not real time, but, like, passing days as you played the game, like, where it went, like, a day and night cycle, and obviously the first game I've ever, well, not obviously, but the first game I played that had that was Ocarina of Time, and I loved every time it would shift from uh, day to night and night to day. I don't know why, and I still enjoy that stuff in video games now. And I remember 
when I was little, in Majora's Mask, I would always skip to day two, and I would just run around Clock Town. Like, I loved Clock Town. Even though everyone's on, like, a, like a set schedule and everyone's doing the same thing generally, like... I didn't realize that when I was a kid, and I just thought that place was, like, so alive. I loved the music and still do, and even though I didn't care for Majora's Mask the game that much when I was little, I just didn't really understand it with the time mechanic. I just remember, like, messing around in Clock Town and always skipping to Day 2 because I began to realize that it always rained on Day 2 in that game. And I love that so much. Alright, come on now, can we... Here, it's like rolling to the left, so let's try it a little more to the right. There we go. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I've always had a thing for that in games, and especially like when it starts the rain and stuff in games, and like I just said, the passing days, like, it's something I really appreciate. Oh, why did I get rid of the leaf? Here, let's kill this dude. Alright, this one is a little tricky here. Nope, that's not gonna do it. At least they come back really quick, though. Ah, uh, nope, okay. Here, I think I need to be at the left more. Why is it going off to the left like that so much? What about like that? Shouldn't it be, like, since I'm on the left side of the nut, shouldn't it be going towards the right when I blow on it? That's what she said! <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't... What if I... Here. Let's, like, turn this way a little bit more. Not like that, though. Here, let's just see what this does. Yeah, see, now it goes that way. Stop locking on. That should, that might work. There we go, I think it went in. Yep, okay. Nice. I actually, like, enjoy doing that. It's kind of fun. Just the right amount, too. If it was any more than three, it would get kind of annoying, but... Uh, before we go in there, let's get the chest. Sure, sure. I should probably open these just to do it so I don't forget because you know how forgetful I am uh, is it quicker to change the song or just run around actually we might not make that so let's just go around the island as you can all probably guess I'm not sure what's in this hole either about to find out though what do you have to say Uh, what does he see over there? I think he's always looking at something in the distance, but I'm too lazy to get out my useless telescope to look, so... Whatever. Oh, an enemy gauntlet. We haven't fought any of you guys in forever! What the heck was I trying to counter there? Holy crap. Are they dead already? Wow. Okay. Wait, the boomerang, like, takes off the parts of the wings on this guy? Holy crap. That wasn't so bad, now was it? I mean, the boomerang is super good in this game, though. For, like, for real. I think it's probably the best boomerang in Zelda games ever. It's gotta be. Another treasure chart we should open. What's going on with this little space right here? There's not supposed to be, like, a chest to spawn there or something, right? Is it just there? happens if I kill all you guys? You guys didn't die from that spin attack? There. Well, I guess this is just kind of here.
All right. Uh, we did not get the map fish yet, so let's do that quick, and then I'll probably end the episode off. Or actually, no. We'll we'll do the last two squares and then end it off, and then I think the next episode we're gonna be doing windfall stuff. To the best of my knowledge, it's probably gonna be pretty tough. Do these guys say anything different over here? It's kind of dangerous out here, guys. Yeah, I know. I figured this out a couple episodes ago, believe it or not. Like, I think it was episode 22 when I figured out you need to open the treasure charts to be able to salvage them up. But don't worry, guys. I got it. We need more bait. No, get the leaf. Wait, no. Wait, I'm an idiot, dude. I just had, like, a brain aneurysm. Horseshoe Island. Oh. We should do that while we're out, too. I'm so glad I actually took the time to read that. We're right by outset. How many Knight's Crest do we have? Enough. I think he needs ten. Here, let's do it. Oh yeah, we have that to do too. Probably won't do that till towards the end of the game though. Okay, so we're back in outset because I forgot to grab the hurricane spin. Oh, oh, I think this is from Beetle for doing the silver membership. Let's see. Cash on delivery. Of course, it probably is Beetle in that case then. Yep, silver membership holders. Uh. One complimentary ID. It is valid through all Beetle Shop ships. Huh. Well, Beetle's right here, so let's do that quick. Beetle, stop. Beetle, stop. Beetle, stop. Beetle, stop. Stop it. Beetle, stop your boat right now. Okay, dude, seriously, stop. You're supposed to... S there. Jeez. I don't remember what this does. I wonder if I should use it at the Super Rockspire Island Beetle. Uh, do I just talk to him, or...? Can I talk to you? Uh, I guess I need to get it out. Is it in my mailbag? Yep, okay. Uh, here. What does this do? Hi. Oh, that's what it does? Oh, a complimentary. Oh, that's funny. Oh, wow. You're a funny guy, Beetle. Oh, that's incredible. I'm so <laughs> I am blown away by that. I totally forgot he did that. Oh, my God. I love to play on words with the complimentary ID, too. Oh, I love Beetle so much. I wish I could keep that and make him do that whenever I wanted him to. Okay, as I was saying, I forgot to pick up the Hurricane Spin from Orca before we left. What's it? A Knight's Crest? How many of those do you have? Hmph. Then I suppose the time has come for me to speak to you about the Crest. The Knight's Crest. It is a symbol of a courageous knight. But not just anyone can gather them. No, it takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. So, the complete Triforce. Any courageous soul who gathers ten of these crests can, er can learn a powerful new sword technique. Blah blah blah. All you do is hold B. It's really easy and also not very useful. Honestly. But my main question is... Why is this not Toon Link's final smash in Smash Bros? That I will never understand. Instead, he gets just the recycled... Final Smash that all Link, all Links get. That would be such a great Final Smash for Toon Link. Missed opportunity, honestly. 
Amazing, Luke, you did it. You have mastered the hurricane spin. At last, you have made our long-held dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears, they won't stop. I thought my tears had dried up long ago. Sorry, I got distracted by something. There is nothing left for me to teach you. I am certain now that you will save your sister. I like how his voice has changed. <laughs> Earlier, it was like my D&D &D character, and <laughs> then it just... he It's like my D&D &D character aged like a hundred years. Okay, uh, episode's getting kind of long, but I'm still going to go do those two squares like I promised, so I will see you guys there. Let's see what this place is all about, because I do not know. Shark Island. I really don't remember this. Not even the name. Yeah, I know. Yes, I got Cyclos already. Thank you, though, for checking in. Okay. Uh, let's grab this real quick. I guess there's a beetle here, too. Or, wait, is that beetle back there? Might have been a battleship. I can't tell the difference these days. Silver rupee. Perfect. Yeah, that is beetle. Interesting. Alright, let's see what Shark Isle is all about. We have another Withered Deku tree. Ugh, I hate seeing so many of those. It's kind of an annoying side quest later, but... We will deal with it when the time is appropriate. Oh, Oh, we don't have the... Yep, okay. Yeah, we can't do this yet. Well, wait, there's a hammer thing over there, though. Oh, do you need to be able to hit, like, all three of these? Yeah, I think you need to hit all four of these switches. Which we can only hit three of the four. Because for some reason the hammer can't smash down that metal switch back there, which is stupid. Further makes it so the hammer's just useless. Ugh. But wait, no, we do have iron boots. What am I doing? Right? Yeah, we do. I almost just left, dude. I thought you picked up... For, I was thinking that you picked up the iron boots in the wind temple. Because you use them all the time in the wind temple. Oh, you need to do this fast. Uh, okay, so let's go... I don't know, let's just go switch. Hammer. Shoot that with an arrow, I guess a fire arrow. If this wasn't fast enough, then I'm not sure what to do here. Okay, perf- wait. What's the point of that cyclone? <laughs> I don't think that cutscene spawned that cyclone, right? It just happened to be there. It kind of looked like the cutscene, like, showed the cyclone and, like, spawned it in. Very weird. One of these caves, huh? With the Danae's in here. Wait, you guys aren't getting, like, your intro when you walk in? Here, maybe we should try out the hurricane spin. Don't poke me. Nice. Yeah, see how it's like, it's cool and all, but it's really not that practical in most combat situations. That double glitch hit is, though. Look at that. We do have soup on us. Oh, a dark nut, huh? Oh, you guys go away. Yeah, smack the Danae's away for me. Oh, the Danae poked me in the air. Man, I have so many hearts now that it really just doesn't even matter anymore. Even on hero mode. Okay, there is a ton of you guys. 
Did the Moblin kill the Dark Nut? Okay. Jeez, this is so much going on right now. Why is he walking so fast? <laughs> that looked kind of weird. I'm scared. Send help. There's more. Holy crap. This is fun. Oh, I love this so much. I heard that. I heard you. Yeah, you. I heard you. Yeah, spawn in the same spot. No, don't lock onto him. No, not with an ice arrow. Oh, I am botching this up. Ow. Oh, yeah. Kill the Danae's. Oh, I'm having so much fun right now. Okay, Wizrope, you gotta go. Boom. Ow. Spin attack. Oh, I tried to spin attack. Did he pick up the Dark Knight sword? I just... I, I, there is so much going on. Luke cannot comprehend this, guys. Oh my gosh. Ow. Okay, maybe hero mode still is hard because I'm so many hearts down now. Moblin, you gotta get out of here. Holy crap. Am I supposed to be doing something to make them stop? Got him. He still hit me. Ow. <laughs> Link, like, bent over backwards getting hit by that. Oh my god, there are still guys coming. Uh, we have fairies. Like, I I should be using the soup right now, but I really don't want to. Just for the challenge. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. Come at me. Wrong dude. I can only counter who I'm locked on to. Oh, you guys ruined that. Okay, I really gotta spread you guys apart or kill this guy first. Is he dead? Oh, more Denise? Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm surprised that they're only doing one heart of damage on hero mode. Um. Okay, he's running, so... Oh, he has his helmet on. Can I shoot him in the body? Uh, not quick enough. Oh, he's karate chopping. Not so fast. Oh, jeez. Let's pretend I have no fairies. Let's just make this more interesting. Let's improv. No double hit? What was it telling me to counter? Oh, wow. I bet that was a blast to listen to. Jeez. That was awesome. It got me down to one heart, too. Man, I was getting all worked up. Oh, Link looks so tired. It's alright, buddy. We got fairies and soup. Here, why not? Let's use the soup. Let's give poor Link a break here. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I was getting so worked up doing that. That was all for a silver rupee, though. That should have been like a piece of heart or something. Kind of a bummer, honestly. But still, a lot of fun. Alright. Man, this episode's getting really long. Maybe I'll split it into two parts. We'll see. But we have one more square to get to. Okay, we are at Southern Triangle Island, and we have a treasure chart to get real quick. Hopefully these guys don't get in the way. Oh my god, he is right there. Yikes. An orange rupee. Okay. Oh, did I never get the... Oh. The square is just the Tower of the Gods. I never got the fish for this. Very st strange. How did I not get the fish for this? Oh, also, getting hit by that P-Hat got rid of my double damage. That sucks. 
Alright, where are you, map fish? I wouldn't be surprised if there's a treasure chart thing to salvage here, too. I can't believe I never got this. Looks like a ring pop. <laughs> of course, that's what Luke's mind goes to, food. Well, not really food, I guess, but... I don't even really like candy in general that much. I'd much rather have a steak. <laughs> or something. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to end the video off here. It's a, quite a long video. I might be splitting this into two parts, so... But we'll see. Um, yeah, so... In the next episode, I think we're going to be doing some Windfall Island stuff. And then after that, we'll probably be heading towards the Wind Temple. But Luke can always change his mind last minute, so we'll see when we get there. But thank you guys for watching very much. I hope you guys stick around. Have a great day. Be safe out there.